Hello everybody and welcome back to our weekly vlogs. We're still putting out our cruise series, but I thought it's time I picked up the camera and started vlogging again. I've had a bit of a break from it. It's actually been a week since we've yep. been home, just over a week and we haven't filmed anything. So let's turn the camera around and show you a few things that we've bought. Yay. Okay, we're going to try these. These are Cushel. We've not really had these. They're toilet rolls. Yes. Um, but these are tubeless. Tubeless toilet rolls. So in, there are six of them. It should last the same as 12 standard rolls. So if you look, there is no tube. So we'll let you know how we got on with those. Ah, these. Finish Powerball Ultimate. We got them from um, B&M, not Home Bargains, B&M. And uh, yeah, there are 92 of them. And we, we literally use one a day. <laughs> so we needed some of those. Needed some Finish Rinse Aid. We got a big one of Fairy because we do the refillable over there. Dishwasher salts because I am out and you should put them in your dishwasher. If you don't, then you are incredibly naughty. Um, oat. This, was, this one was on offer. Uh, is that it? No, there's more. Oh, more, yes, more mince pies. I, it. But these are the six mince pies filled with brandy infused mince meat. They're the nice ones. Yeah, that's the taste different. No, there's not, there's more. Oh, yes, there is uh, <laughs> something else for you. Oh, yes, dairy milk, and there's something, I really fancy some chocolate. And that's it. That no, it? there's something for you as well. There is. Let, let me look in that bag. <laughs> I've got one of these. <laughs> Matt got himself some caramel. We are going to try and start the gym again soon. We've been so bad. Terrible. Uh, but I, I lost weight on, on the cruise. You did. I lost 5.6 pounds. How did that happen? I have no idea. No attention to what I'm bringing out. Oh, there. yes, there were these as well. Yes, well, that's going to help us lose weight, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so we need to start back at that gym. Get pounding the... What is it? Pumping the iron. Pounding we the need iron. To Something needs pounding and it ain't the iron. We need to pound that iron. Pump that iron. Woo! There are tablets for that. Hi everybody, it is Thursday and I've got some things to show you. My new Stitch Fix has come in. I am so excited. I paused last month because we were travelling on the cruise. We're Obviously we're back now. And uh, this is should be a transitional box. I asked for transitional clothes going into the autumn and wearing kind of autumnal colours today so I'm very excited to see what is in this box because last uh, month's box was such a success ready for the cruise so my stylist did an amazing job so can't wait to open that I will make a separate video and try on for those also we have um, some bulbs now I've wanted to do some bulbs in the garden ever since we bought the house uh, when we took possession of it last October it's almost been a year since we've actually started doing the renovations. It was October the 11th, I think, when we got the keys. So it is time for some bulbs. I got all of these from Morrison's. Very good price, five pounds for a pack of 25 bulbs, tulips. Uh, two for, these, these ones were two for four pounds. We've got the Tete Tete, which is the very small, kind of very mini daffodils, uh, muscari, and we've got some crocuses. So I want to do I want to put these not in the garden, I want them in the pots in the garden. So um, there should be a succession. I have got these, these are jumbo tulips. I'm very intrigued. I have seen these before on Gardener's World. So these flower April to May, same for these, but these are the shorter ones. Then if I put them in the same pot, there should be a succession, March to April, April to May, and these are February to March. So by the time I put them all in, in the correct order, at the correct depth, I've also got some pansies and things as well. So they should be really nice. And I'm going to be doing that today. So I think I'm going to put that, not in a separate vlog, that will be in, in this weekly vlog. We also have Bo. Hello, Bo. Now I need to update you. Hello. Yes, on you. He's, a, he's been escaping the garden. He's found a weak point um, that he hadn't seen up until a few days ago. And it was night time. It was pitch black. And um, he escaped, basically. And we didn't know where to find him. We didn't know if he'd been taken, eaten by a wild beast. Um, anyway, he came back eventually after we were absolutely distraught, wondering where he was. Um, turns out he found a weak point right in the corner over there. Um, and he sort of jumped into next door's garden. 
So I put the disused fence panel and kind of put it in the corner and tried to, I'll show, I'll show you later what I did. Um, and it looked all secure, but what he's, well, it is secure, but what he's done now, because there's a metal wire, there's a metal wire fence running the inside of that hedge that only goes up about halfway. He's figured out now he can climb up the hedge using the branches and then he can flop over <laughs> into next door's garden. Um, so the garden is no longer secure. So what I've done, um, I'm going to have a fence put. Uh, it's the only way of really making it completely secure. So it'll be the same height fence as the one over here. It'll be five foot. Um, so it won't be any tall. In fact, it'll probably be a little bit shorter than the hedge that's there now. Um, so whether or not, um, yeah, but that's what we're going to do. It's the only thing we can do to keep it completely secure and safe and not look a complete mess like that hodgepodge fix that didn't even work um, looks there. So the garden is getting ready for autumn. I need to do a bit of sweeping. The summer bedding plants are still doing so well. So I, I don't, I'm, I'm loathe to take them up. I think I'm just going to, hello, no, you can't. You're, you're in now because you escape. No. Oh, can you see the mark? This mark on the window is poor marks from the outside where Rory has tried to let us know that he wants to come in. Um, so yeah, we need to do something there. I've called, I've called our, our gardener, well, I've called our landscaper out, the one who did all the, all the work here, to come and give us a quote and see what he thinks. But anyway, we need it secure because of you, don't we? We can't have you escaping. Also, we have a new throw. Do ignore the cushion placement, but we've got a little um, green throw and the cats absolutely love it. This is from Dunelm. Uh, it's a two metre by two metre throw. It's in green. It's in a really nice fleece fabric. It's supposed to be for us, but the cats absolutely love it. Rory and Molly haven't really been off it. So, so yeah. Um, so, that, so later on today, that's what I need to do. Um, I need to do some planting and you'll see it in this vlog. Okay, just back from the shop. It's been Matt's lunchtime. We've got a ne nearly empty tub of dreamies and the cats will never forgive us if we don't fill them up. So we've bought some replacement bags to top up this bag. And we've also got some of these to mix in with them. We haven't tried these before. These are Goodie Bag by Felix. Ooh, two calories per treat. That's actually quite a lot, really. So that's why they should only be given sparingly. So they're all chicken, so we're going to mix them together in the Dreamies tub um, and see how that goes. But cats cannot resist the Dreamies. Also, I've recommended by my dentist to get a flat uh, bristled toothbrush. So I found that one. Uh, I think that was in Home Bargains. It wasn't that expensive, but it looks quite good. So we'll try that one. Um... Yeah, and we've also bought some party bits and bobs. I think we're going to have a Halloween-themed um, party. So I've got a few pumpkin plates and some Halloween napkins. You know, the sort of tacky stuff that everyone loves. And some ghost pong, which should be fun. Okay, we bought Bo a harness. <laughs> it's still Thursday, and it's just arrived. It's an Amazon harness. I'll leave it linked. Um, but it's a really thin one. Bo did not get on with the previous one we had because it was a bit thick and restrictive and basically he just flops yeah. so this one is very thin the straps are really thin and he seems to be using it because like i said he's escaped so i think he wants to explore a little bit more yeah. but maybe on a lead it'll stop him from running trying to escape and rory <laughs> rory's going to investigate why bo is outside because bo doesn't normally come out the front does he rory does rory's okay but look, there's little Bobo. Okay, so Bo just got spooked by a dog. <laughs> so he really ran back in the house. Um, but here he is, look. How, do, how are you, darling? What do you think? Is that a good lead? Well, I think we can actually walk you now. Yeah. Because you're actually walking, so that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah. I've laid out the uh, compost that I'm going to use. So I've actually used, uh, bought some multi-purpose compost with added John Inns. Perfect for every life stage. So there we go. I've put some uh, stones at the bottom of my pot with some drilled holes in. That is very important for drainage so that the compost doesn't block the holes because um, you don't want waterlogged pots. Then I'm going to put some bulbs in. So let's get to it. 
Right, so I've just filled both pots about half full. Now, the deepest bulb that I need to plant is 15 centimetres. So I'm only going to fill them up to kind of this fill line. So I'm hoping I haven't put too much in. I think I may have just put slightly too much in. But I do have a tape measure. Um, oh no, actually we are quite, quite far up. So I need to remove a bit of the compost and then make sure it's 15 centimetres depth and then I can start layering my bulbs because I'm going to start layering them in different depths so that they will come through in a nice succession. There we go so literally four handfuls removed and I'm down to the level to remove that stick down to the level of 15 centimeters so I think the bulbs that I can start with uh, for those are actually these uh, tulips. So both of these whether I do the rainbow or the jumbo should be 15 centimeters down. So let's put these in first. Okay, so this is, this is how they come in the box. There are some holes for aeration. Now, when you're doing a bulb, the pointy end is the end that faces the sky. And then this flat end is what you put on the compost bed. So if you, if you look what I'm doing, I'm just placing it in, pushing it in nice and firmly, but not so you're damaging the bulb. And I'm probably gonna put about six of these and six of the regular tulips at this depth. Okay, so there we have the first layer and I will do exactly the same to the other pot. Now I'm gonna put a few handfuls of compost back on the top and I think my next layer needs to be eight centimeters down. Okay, I've just double checked, it does pay to double check. These, the tete tetes need to be 10 centimeters down. The muscari are eight centimeters down in depth and the crocus are five. So I need to do these ones next. Okay, so in here I have put a layer of nine. I haven't really bothered if they're directly on top of another bulb because because they're in a succession, the previous bulb should have died back. Um, so obviously I'll cut them back as and when they die off. So that should be perfectly fine. Right, let's top up the soil again and then we will go on to the muscari. There we go. I have put 15 in this pot. Um, now let's build up the layers again. Okay, I have put... I have put 14 in this one, then I'm going to top up and then I've got some pansies or violas to go on the top. And then we do the other part. I think I've decided to put the violas over these two tubs, distributed evenly. Um, they're very, really healthy plants, and so that's actually a pack of 20. They were two for £5, or £3.49 each, from Morrison's. Really, really good value. Grab them while you can, if they're still there. And there we have it, the finished pot with violas on the top. I did six. Um, I think they will fill out, plus there'll be all the bulbs coming through. So let's see how this experiment goes. I now need to do exactly the same on the other side, on the other pot. Hi all, we are not in our usual environment. No. <laughs> we are up north. We are far up we're north. We're far up north. We're actually, um, we're, we're in Penrith. Penrith, near Carlisle. Yeah, near Carlisle. And not terribly far away from Kendall, no, uh, Keswick. Green. Keswick. I think is one. So yeah, we're very up north and we're basically in the Lake District yeah. and we've been doing some show home tours. So we've just finished one. We're on our way to the next development um, and we're going for, there's like a tractor rally or something because we've seen loads and loads and loads of tractors in convoy. So I just thought I'd show that. Um, but we've seen some amazing like hills and anyway, it's the Lake District. So uh, it's a really beautiful area of yeah. the country. So that's what, so last night we came down, we stayed in a hotel. Um, and then immediately after we finished the next show home, we are going back home because obviously the cats we need to go back to our baby. Mm. Oh, we're by a, a Roper Street. Ooh.
Um, oh, that's that thank you. Is it, it you know the cheese. So. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. So just so you know where we were having lunch, it was the Boot and Shoe, the Greystoke. <laughs> it was lovely. Yeah, and my brie. Yeah, Matt's tuna baguette was amazing. My brie and caramelised onion uh, baguette was stunning. Cafe and this Victoria sponge is my favourite cake. There's also got carrot and we've got uh, lemon drizzle as well. Like I said, we are at the Eminence Cafe. So we've had cappuccinos, we've had the seafood selection, they're gorgeous, and we've had the cake um, because that is my favourite cake ever. Victoria sponge, it's so so good from Eminence. The town is quite quiet today actually for a Sunday. We've only got a few hours of shopping actually left so we're gonna to head towards do you remember the old spooky shop i think we've vlogged that before there's lots of weird and wonderful things in there like an, it's like an antique shop you have to go downstairs and there's so many different weird things yeah, so <laughs> yeah so if there is anything that's um unusual we will of course vlog it for you okay so we're in the gay section <laughs> I kid you not, it really is. And these are the prayer candles. So we've got the Beyonce prayer candle. We've got the Diana prayer candle. There's a whole host of host of other prayer candles. We're seriously considering. <laughs> but no, this is literally the gay section. Look, look at these. Birthday treat, lube up love. Merry little Christmas, you'll do by Chrissy Kissy. Yes. Okay, we're back home. I didn't film as much in the um, in the antique shop <laughs> slash store of horrors uh, than what I would have liked to have done because there was too many people. Believe it or not, it was busy. We may have d done a thing. <laughs> oh, I just... Well, we see, we saw the Beyonce prayer candle full of its complete fabulousness the last time we were there and we regretted not buying it. So when we saw it this time, we were like... Yes, bow down, bitches. Uh, you're coming home with us. And then I saw Diana. <sighs> Do what your heart tells you. I saw Diana and I just couldn't leave the Diana prayer candle all by itself in that place. So Diana had to come home. I am not even going to tell you how much we spent on those. They were a complete ridiculous price. But they are now home with us. I also did a thing. We passed the... Now, I never know how to pronounce this. Is it L'Occitane or L'Occitan or something completely different? I don't know. Um, they sprayed the bag. They Once they packed it up and put the tissue in, they got some scent and sprayed it. And It smells gorgeous and lemony and gorgeous. Anyway... If I show you what I bought. So, um, you know I normally use um, Clinique since I upgraded from just the normal simple products. You know, the, the simple moisturiser. Um, so I've been doing Clinique for about a year or so. Anyway, I just wanted to try something different. You know, nothing wrong with Clinique. I still love it. I would still highly recommend Clinique. Um, but I just wanted to try something different. And I was lured in. I was lured in by the, the lemony citrusy scent. And this is the L'Occitane uh, En Provence Immortel Divine Cream. Now, this thing isn't cheap, I tell you. Anyway, um, this, so they do the Divine Cream. It's their special anti-aging cream. So she said, oh, you know, what sort of cream do you want? Do you want, you know, something light and fresh? And I just said, you know, something to stop me from being crinkly. So, anyway, she, she directed me in here. So, I, I did put some samples on my skin, went away, and then came back after the spooky store. And I did actually buy some. So, this is a divine cream. And you don't need a lot of it. So, it was expensive, but you don't need much of it to have, um, to have a good effect. So, the Immortel Divine Cream should last a long time. Smells gorgeous. Goes on really thick. Um, and we'll see... Um, how that works like this is the 65 mil one um yeah 
So we'll we'll see. It seemed okay in store, quite rich, so it should be really good for the winter. Hello everyone, Matt's done a thing. Do a thing. <laughs> and it's just arrived. The, the, the thing has just arrived. It's it's this. Huel, I'm trying to eat healthier. Yes. So I thought I'd get a load of these for like my lunches. Yeah. Because I've seen them advertised, they're supposed to be quite good. Yeah, Matt's changed gym as well. Mm. I'm thinking of joining the same one. I went this morning, I was a very good He day. did. Mm. Um, so you may have heard of this already. It's Huel. It's like a meal replacement yeah. drink. This one has 22 grams of protein, 26 vitamins and minerals, and low in sugar. So Matt's ordered strawberries and cream, which is probably my preferred flavour, and chocolate. And if you look, I mean, you can look up online, but that's all the sort of nutritional information. You have to give it a good shake. Yeah. Um, the ingredients are good as well, because normally, you know, it puts in bold anything that might cause allergies. The only thing that's under the allergy advice that's included is our oats. Okay, so if you're allergic to oats, <laughs> don't. Um, we're going to try these. Obviously, are you thinking just for breakfast or for lunch? Yeah. Just like breakfast and lunch or just one, just one a day? One a day. Okay. So, obviously, we haven't tried these yet. So, we, don't, we can't really recommend them no. at this point. Although, we will do a check back and tell you if we do recommend them. But we do have a, a link and a code. Yes. Uh, but, by the way, not sponsored. Matt literally ordered these and you actually just get... I think anyone who yeah. orders gets like a discount code. So what do they get if they I think sign it's up? ten pounds. So off. is it you get ten pounds like we get ten pounds off yes, and, and you, you get, get ten pounds off your order. So it's quite good. So we're not recommending them at the moment because we can't because we haven't you know, we don't recommend something unless we've tried and tested it. But if you want to try them alongside us, you can use our link and code in the description box below and you get some money off to try. Um, so there we go. They come in boxes like this. Well, actually, no, it comes in a big box. These yeah. two little boxes come in a big box. Um, this is obviously the chocolate. And then you get the strawberries and cream. So there you go. We're going to try them. What does it taste like? That literally just tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Okay, so if you like chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> I know sometimes that could you be like protein shakes and things, the chocolate one tastes a bit. Mm. But no, this generally just tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Yay. So there you go. We, we, we're not recommending them. We're just no, telling you what we're doing. It's not even milk, in it? Hasn't it's it? Vegan. Oh, is it vegan? It's vegan. It's vegan. All you vegans out there. So it's not going to give me a poorly tummy either. No, say it's vegan friendly. Yeah. So for all you friendly vegans out there, it's vegan friendly for you. And kosher. And oh, is it all? Is it everything? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. I don't <laughs> think there's any it's, gluten. It's all the things. There's gluten-free oat flour. Okay. But well, yeah, obviously, if you yeah. do have an intolerance, do check before you order anything. Don't be silly. Nice? Mm, Yay! Nice. Oh my god, I feel like I'm on cribs. Okay, so ignore the, the cream cakes. They're not the diet food. None of which mine, by the way. But literally, we look like influencers, don't we, with the fridge like that? <laughs> We've got a very upset bow because he's not been able to go outside because he keeps trying to escape, don't you? If you even done it with the front door. So Matt's had to walk you on a lead. Yes, Daddy has, hasn't he? But you don't like going out the front. No. So anyway, I want anyway, I wanted to show you what we've done. So in preparation for the new fence, I, I can't remember if I told you we're having one, uh, but I will have to go outside very quickly because Bo will come. Oh, he's going to come. You watch, he'll be here. There he is. See, you've only got to open the door and he comes out trying. He's going to meow. Come on. Oh, hello, darling. Right, so this is what we've done in preparation, ready. So as you can see, the boundary is actually this uh, metal fence and the posts, which, where's there a post? There is a post here. So we've taken the hedge back. It needs to come out a little bit more. We've filled two green bins full of garden waste and we still need to. So my parents are coming in the morning to help um, get rid of that down there, which is still because that's how far it stuck out, so you can see it's quite a lot. So they're going to come the same time as um, as our landscaper, or a fencer, I should say, and we're going to work down there, clearing that, cutting off a little bit more so we can get it as flat as we possibly can, and then hopefully the fence will be in and finished tomorrow so we can let Bo out, because he has been a little fiend, a little monster. Um, since since his incarceration, although it's his own fault, it's his own doing. So anyway, just a quick update. The flowers are still pretty much going, going strong in the garden. So I'll leave those as, as long as I can. 
Um, I, did I show you this? I can't even remember if I showed you. Um, and I've still got some plants here um, to plant in the garden. So it's going to be all go tomorrow. In fact, I might even do those tomorrow if we're having a bit of a day in the garden. So I will update you as and when things happen. Hi everybody, what day are we? We are Wednesday we are today, aren't we? No, now, Thursday. Are we not Thursday? No, Thursday. Are we Thursday? We are Thursday. We're Thursday, apparently. Uh, we just come back from the shops. Down. I can't remember what I told you yesterday about the hedge, um, but the man who's supposed to be doing it hasn't turned up. He, he did phone back last night and say he was coming today. Then this morning he couldn't come because he'd hurt his back. So our neighbour has very, very kindly offered to um, extra chop the hedge. Um, he's doing a very, very good job. And Matt's just bought some mini rolls. He's trying to hide them. No, I haven't. You're hiding the mini rolls. Um, so I'm going to do a mini shopping haul. Can we just got back from the shop? Yes. Right. So what have we got in here? Oh, old El Paso enchiladas because we're too lazy to make our own. But you do have to make them, you kind do. of. Yes. We've had these before. They are nice. Because it wraps a seasoning mix and a cooking sauce. Yeah. So we had to buy extra pepper, onion, sour cream... Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. So there is a little bit of skill involved. Ooh, razzle dazzle pasta. So you probably haven't, haven't seen you yet. probably haven't got to the vlog yet, but in Razzle Dazzle we had evening meal and they had this pasta and it's the very same one. So we we bought it. <laughs> cheese. Everyone needs cheese in their life. Unless you're vegan. Um, <laughs> two fresh cream raspberry turnovers because Bo wanted them. I would like to point out that none of the stacks in this bag are mine. Uh, the mini rolls that just went into the cupboard might be yours. But they're going to see the rest. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's, I, it's, it's my diet food. I swear you have a tapeworm. I do not have a tapeworm. Oh, yes, these. Now, these are nice because they're two cream raspberry finger donuts. And because they're only finger thin, it means you can have twice as much. Bags. I re these are the. Um, by the way, they're not plastic. Plastic. They are. What do they do? Bio they biodegrade. We use those for cat litter. You know, when the cats do their business and lots of other things. Milk, because I like milk. Uh, ooh, yes. Now uh, these are from Aldi. Um, now these are coconut crush. I do like their liquid detergents. Sour cream. An onion. Onion. Uh, tomatoes for salad. Mince pies. Now, they are diet because they're only mini, you see. So they are diet snack-sized because someone likes mince pies. <laughs> salad. Italian-style leaf. Ooh, now these pork sausage rolls. Now, these are very healthy just because they are healthy. And um, chicken breast pieces. Woohoo! Ooh, how are we finding the Huel? Oh, they're nice. I enjoy them. They feel yeah. To be fair, I've had one as well, the strawberries and cream one. Matt's been having the chocolate. And they are actually quite nice. Mm, yeah. We're liking them so far. So we will... It'll be an ongoing review process. Okay, so I've just been editing this very vlog that you're watching now. And I've realised I haven't filmed an ending. There's no outro oh. to our vlog. Uh, so again, it's been a very varied vlog. We've been all over the place, literally, <laughs> in this vlog. And obviously we started filming it when we got back from holiday. So... After this, we'll be filming a new one. We are going to Manchester Ooh, yeah. in a few days' time. So that'll be interesting. And we'll be going to a John Lewis. Yeah. And maybe a massive Marks and Spencers. So uh, that's riveting, isn't it? So I know you'll definitely want to subscribe for that one. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. Do it. Um, hit all the likes and subscribes and comments and all that kind of goodness. So from us, mwah, to you all, and goodbye. Ta-da, loves. Hey, up, Duke.